welcome back to another video today and get a lot of this today we're gonna be looking at functions finally I'm gonna do a functions video um and yeah there's nothing more to it let's just get straight into it so let's start with what are functions functions are a way to reuse code that you've already written so if you have a lot of code that is often repeated instead of just copying or writing it again you can just call your function whenever you need that section of code using functions will also reduce lag and allow your code to look much cleaner and simple i you got it now let's write a function I opened up a new file in Atom. If you want to use the same program to write your scripts as I do, then there will be a link to this program in the description. So first off, I'm going to make two scenarios where I need the same section of code uh, for both of them. I'm going to start with making a command that's just going to be slash animal and an entity type. And then I'm just going to add the trigger. And the next one is, let's say, on step on something, a gold block. And then we'll need the same section of code for that one as well. So the top one, my command, will summon an entity of the player's choosing at the player. And the bottom one will summon a specific entity at the player. So let's get started on the actual function. You're going to write function. And then we're going to specify a name for our function. I'm going to call it animal spawn. Um, you can write it this way. You can also use an underscore if you like your name to be like that. But I usually make the second word uh, start with a capitalized letter. In your function name, pretty much the only thing that you can use is an underscore. You're, you can't really use like dashes and question marks and dots and stuff slashes and stuff um but you you don't really need that either to be honest next you're gonna add some brackets and within these brackets we're gonna define some variables i want to make one called p which is a player and another one called t which will be my entity type so these are basically like normal variables um where i wrote the P or the T, you can define whatever you want as the variable's name. And after that, you gotta you gotta specify what it is. So if it's a player, an entity type, or a string, or a number, or whatever, maybe just text. Next, I'm gonna write spawn one of, and then I'm gonna use the variable T, and at, and the variable P. And next, we could add some uh, text, send, quotation marks in green spawned uh, a and then we can use our t variable again to say in chat what entity actually got spawned and remember to put two and p at the end and that's our function so now i'm going to show you how to call it in our command above and the other one so you just make another line here and i'm going to write the function's name and then some brackets and then we're going to specify what our variables should be so of course the first one is going to be player and the second one is going to be arg1 so that means it's going to be whatever entity that the player defines in the command on this other one we want it to be a specific entity so we write the function's name again and a player as the other one and i'm going to define a pig as being the entity on this one and that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and put it into my server. So I'm here on my Minehut dashboard and I'm gonna go click on File Manager. I'm gonna scroll down and click on Plugins and Script and Scripts and make a new script, call it function.sk. Create that and we're just gonna paste our code in here and remember to click Save. All right, so I'm on my server and let's check if this actually works. I'm gonna run the command slash animal and let's do a cow. And it works. It even says in chat that I spawned a cow. Oh, and as you can see, this boss bar at the top of my screen, if you wanna know how to make that, I made another video on that. You can just click the eye in the corner. Now let's try a sheep. And it works. And it also says sheep in the chat. 
so let's try stepping on a gold block. And there we go, it spawns a pig. We can make plenty of pigs out of this. So yeah, everything seems to work. It's calling the same section of code in both events. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any further questions, make sure to ask them on my Discord server, link in the description. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.